On Saturday morning, we woke up to the sound of alarms, gunshots, shouting in Arabic, knocking on doors, and messes from the kibbutz about terrorists wearing IDF uniforms trying to enter our homes. We didn't know in those hours, or did not we imagine in our wildest dream, that hundreds of Hamas terrorists will paraglide into the kibbutz, murder us, burn us alive, and kidnap us. Through the morning of the horrors, I talked with my little sister, I, that she told me how much she's afraid, that she put a sofa and her fridge into the, on the door, and she hoped it was enough to stop from the barbarian terrorists to come into her room and take her. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. In 10.20 in the morning, my young sister called and talk, speak with our mother. She said she, that she's afraid, that she hear them, hear them coming, and the phone call cut in the middle. But we know that even though barbarian terrorists got into my little sister's house, she sent a voice message to her friends and she told them, they caught me, they caught me, they caught me, and we can hear Arabic shout in the background. I cannot imagine, and it came to me at night, what my little sister condition now, I don't know anything. The woman that set free talk about the condition that they, they have there, but I don't know, and we see all the evidence from the Nova party and some other evidence about what they can do to a little woman. And I want to ask you to think for one second about your wife, about your daughters, about your sister. I need you to think, I'm asking you, to think about my little sister and the, un the other young woman who's there. I bet that if it was your mother or your sister, you didn't stand aside.